Hey everyone, it's me Jenny and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet baby slippers. There's four sizes right here. So this is 0 to 3 months. And this is 3 to 6 months, both using the same pattern, different size crochet hook. So for the 0 to 3 months, the sole measured 3 and a half inches and I used 4 millimeter crochet hook. And for the 3 to 6 months, the sole measure 4 inches and I use 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. And as you can see, I use the same pattern to make a minion slipper. And for up here, 6 to 9 months and 9 to 12 months, it is the same pattern, different size crochet hook. For 6 to 9 months, the sole measure 4.5 inches and I use 4 millimeter crochet hook. And for size 9 to 12 months the sole measure 4 sorry 5 inches and I use 4.5 millimeter crochet hook now I'm gonna compare um, shoe, both of the shoes together 0 to 3 months and 3 to 6 months it is only half an inch difference same pattern and for 6 to 9 months and 9 to 12 months same pattern also only half an inch different okay so without further ado I'm gonna show you how to crochet um, this slipper just using two patterns. As for the yarn, I'm going to be using medium weight yarn number four. This is loops and thread yarn. <clears throat> if you don't have this yarn, you can use any yarn that you have, medium weight yarn number four. For the crochet hook, for zero to three months, four millimeter crochet hook. And for size three to six months, you're going to be using 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. Okay? Same pattern 0 to 3 months and 3 to 6 months. So I'm going to be using 4 millimeter crochet hook to show how to crochet 0 to 3 months. We're going to start by making a slip knot. And now chain 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now we're going to start with round one. For round one, we're going to make two half double crochets starting from the second chain from the crochet hook. One, two, and two. Next stitch, we're going to make one half double crochet. Next stitch, or the last stitch, we're going to make four half double crochet. One, two, three, and four. So next stitch, we're going to make one half double crochet. It's so right here. Next stitch, we're going to make two half double crochet. It is the same stitch where we made the two half double crochet earlier. So this is one and two. Done with round one, you should have total of 10 stitches. Go ahead and slip stitch into the first half double crochet right here. Now we're going to start with round two, start with chain one. Now we're going to make two half double crochet into the next two stitch. So this is the first stitch, make two half double crochet. One, two and next stitch make two half double crochet as well one two next we're going to make two half double crochet one and another stitch two next we're going to make two half double crochet into the next two stitch one two and next stitch one and two so next we're going to make four half double crochet all the way till the end one two three and four 
so we're done with round two you should have total of 14 stitches go ahead and slip stitch into the first half double crochet right there So this is how it looks like. Now we're going to start with round three. Round three, we're going to start with chain one. And we're going to make 14 half double crochet around. So just basically we're going to make one half double crochet into every stitch. Okay, so once you're done with round three, go ahead and slip stitch into the first half double crochet right here. This is how it looks like. Now let's start with round four. For round four, we're going to start with chain one as usual. And we're going to make three half double crochet. Starting right here. One two three next we're going to make two half double crochet next stitch one two next we're going to make three half double crochet one two and three next we're going to make two half double crochet next stitch one two Next, we're going to make six half double crochet all the way till the end of the round. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So done, you should have total of 16 stitches for round four. Go ahead and slip stitch. Now this is how it looks like so far. Now let's start with round 5, start with chain 1 and we're going to make 16 half double crochet around. Okay, so for round 5 and round 6, both rounds start with chain 1 and make 16 half double crochet. Okay, so go ahead and finish up until round 6 and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, once you crochet up to round 6, this is how it looks like, this is the front right here. And this is the sole or the bottom of the shoes. Go ahead and slip stitch into the first half double crochet. Now we're going to do the heel, but before we do the heel, we're going to slip stitch all the way to the top. So we're going to chain one and turn the work. And we're going to make six slip stitch all the way up here. Okay, so we're going to skip the first stitch this stitch and we're going to continue the next stitch right here okay so one two three four five and six okay so i'm just going to chain one to hold the stitches okay so we're going to do the heel we're going to crochet um all the way at the back to the other side right here okay we're going to make 12 half double crochet and this chain one this chain one does not count as the 12 half double crochet count okay, so this is the first count one two three this is four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, and 12. Okay, so we're done with the heel part, um, row, row one. You should have four stitches in between chain one 
and the last stitch four stitch so this is one two three and four okay so now let's start with row two for row two we're going to start with chain one turn the work and we're going to make two half double crochet into the first stitch right here one and two next we're going to make nine half double crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine next we're going to make two half double crochet into the next stitch one two and lastly one half double crochet into the last stitch one half double crochet so for row two you should have total of 14 stitches one four so so far this is how it looks like now we're going to start with row three so for row three and row four both rounds start with chain one and make 14 half double crochet across okay so go ahead and finish up row three and row four make both rows start with chain one and make 14 half double crochet okay so i'll meet you at the end of row four okay so once you're done with row four now we're going to start with row five for row five we're going to make two decrease so start with chain one turn the work and we're going to make five half double crochet starting right here one two three four five and we're going to make the two decrease right here so the first half double crochet decrease Okay, so this is the first decrease and second decrease now we made two half double crochet decrease next we're going to make five half double crochet all the way to the end one two three four and five Okay, so we're done with row 5. The reason for the decrease at the bottom right here is so that we don't have a pointy at the heels. And now we're going to close both ends of the heels together. We're going to join by doing single crochet. So we're going to turn the work. We're going to do it from the inside part of the heels. Okay, so just basically turn. And we're going to chain 1. And we're going to crochet both sides together. So just basically do a single crochet. Okay, once you made your last single crochet, it really doesn't matter how many single crochet stitch you made. Just as long as if you turn the heels, it's all cover up. There's no hole right there. And now we're going to slip stitch all the way up. So chain one, turn the work, and we're going to slip stitch all the way back up. Okay, so I'm going to skip the first stitch. I'm going to start right here. So the one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, now we're going to turn the heel. Now this is how it looks like. It's still a little bit loose on the top right here. So we're going to do single crochet around the opening. Okay, so we're going to start with chain one and make 16 single crochet around okay it is very easy to um, decide where you want to put the single crochet for the heels we're going to make five single crochet 
one single crochet for each row of the heel okay so this is five six is going to be right here six seven eight nine ten eleven now we add the heels twelve 13, 14, 15, last row here, and 16. Now slip stitch into the first half double crochet. Okay, we're going to just right here. First half double crochet. Slip stitch, chain one to secure stitches, and cut the yarn. So just cut enough for you to weave it ends. So this is how it looks like for 0 to 3 months using 4mm crochet hook. This is the side. And we're going to measure, as I mentioned earlier, this is 0 to 3 months using 4mm crochet hook. So the shoe should be, the sole should be 4, sorry, 3.5 inches. Okay, 3.5 inches. So this is the measurement for 0 to 3 months using 4mm crochet hook and if you want to do bigger size 3 to 6 months using the same pattern and change the crochet hook to 4.5mm. Okay next I'm going to show you crochet size 6 to 9 months and 9 to 12 months. Now for this part of the pattern, I'm going to show you how to crochet size 9 to 12 months using 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, so I'm going to be using the same yarn. So we're going to start by making a slip knot. Make a slip knot and we're going to chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next, we're going to start round one. We're going to make two half double crochet into the second chain from the crochet hook. One, two. Next, we're going to make two half double crochet. One, and another one next stitch, and two. In the last stitch, we're going to make four half double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Next, we're going to make two half double crochet. One, two, one, next stitch, and two. Next, we're going to make two half double crochet into the next stitch. It is the same stitch where we made the two half double crochet earlier. One and two, so done with round one. You should have total of 12 stitches, and we're going to slip stitch right here. So done with round one. So for round two, we're going to start with chain one. We're going to make two half double crochet into the next two stitch. So first stitch, two half double crochet, two, and next stitch. Two half double crochet one two next we're going to make three half double crochet one two three next we're going to make two half double crochet into the next two stitch next stitch two half double crochet one two and next stitch two half double crochet as well one and two next we're going to make five half double crochet all the way till the end one two three four five done with round two you should have total of 16 stitches 
Now go ahead and slip stitch into the first half double crochet right here. Now we're going to start with round three. We're going to start with chain one and make 16 half double crochet around. Okay, starting right here. Okay, go ahead and finish up round three. Make 16 half double crochet around. Now once you're done with all 16 half double crochet, slip stitch into the first half double crochet right here. Now let's start with row round four. Round four we're going to make increases, two increases. So start with chain one, we're going to make four half double crochet. One, two, three four so next stitch we're going to make two half double crochet one two next we're going to make three half double crochet one two and three next stitch we're going to make two half double crochet one and two so next we're going to make seven half double crochet all the way till the end one two three four five six and seven so done with round four you should have total of 18 stitches go ahead and slip stitch so far this is how it looks like now for the next three round round five six and seven all three rounds we're going to start with chain one and make 18 half double crochet around and slip stitch into the first half double crochet okay so go ahead and finish up round five until seven both rounds start with chain one and make 18 half double crochet okay so i'll meet you at the end Now once you're done with round 7, go ahead and slip stitch into the first half double crochet right here. Now we're going to do the heel and before we do that, we're going to chain 1, turn the work and we're going to slip 6 stitches all the way to the top. Okay, so once you chain 1, we're going to slip stitch, we're going to skip the first stitch right here. We're going to start the next. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, now we're going to start with the heel. So chain one, and we're going to make 13 half double crochet. So this chain one does not count as the stitch count. Okay, so we're going to start the next count, the first count right here, next stitch. We're going to make 13 half double crochet. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, and 13. So done with row one of the heel. So for you should have five stitches from chain one to the last stitch, five stitches opening one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now we're going to start with row two, chain one, turn the work. And we're going to make two half double crochet into the first stitch right here. One, two. Next, we're going to make ten half double crochet. One, two, three, four, four, five, six. Seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Next stitch, we're going to make two half double crochet. One and two. And lastly, we're going to make one half double crochet into the last stitch. So for row two, you should have 15 stitches. Now we're going to start with row three. Start with chain one, turn the work, and we're going to make 15 half double crochet across. Okay, so once you're done with row 3, next we're going to start with row 4, start with chain 1, turn the work, we're going to make 2 half double crochet into the first stitch, 1, 2, next we're going to make 12 half double crochet, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So next stitch we're going to make two half double crochet. One, two, and lastly one half double crochet into the last stitch. So for row four you should have a total of seventeen stitches. Now let's start with row 5. Row 5 we're going to make 2 decrease. So start with chain 1, turn the work. We're going to make 6 half double crochet starting from the first stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The first half double crochet is into this two stitch. Okay, this is the first half double crochet decrease. Next stitch, we're going to make one half double crochet. So next, we're going to make the second half double crochet decrease. Okay, so done with the second decrease. Next, we're going to make six half double crochet all the way till the end. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so for row five, you should have total of 15 stitches after the decrease. So for the last row of the heel, we're going to start with chain one, row six. Okay, so for row six, start with chain one and make 15 half double crochet across. So once you're done with row 6, you made the last stitch. Next, we're going to join both ends together. So we're going to do by doing single crochet both ends. Okay, so just single crochet from the top all the way down. Okay, once you're done single crochet all the way down, now we're going to slip stitch all the way up. So we're going to start, we do the chain one and slip stitch all the way up. Okay, skip the first stitch. Okay, so once you did all the slip stitch all the way up, now we're going to push the heels out this is how it looks like all right so next we're going to make 20 single crochet around the opening so start with chain one 
and we're going to just basically make one single crochet into every stitch and for the heel we're going to make one single crochet into every row one single crochet every row okay so one two three four five six okay so seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen then right here fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and last row right here 20 and now slip stitch into the first half double crochet chain one to secure stitches and cut the yarn okay now we're going to measure you should get 5 inches for size 9 to 12 month using 4.5 millimeter crochet hook as you can see 5 inches now I've showed you how to crochet the 0 to 3 months and 9 to 12 months so for the 0 to 3 months and size so this is 0 to 3 months I use 4 millimeter crochet hook and you can use the same pattern to make three to six months change crochet hook to 4.5 millimeter okay as for this i showed you size 9 to 12 months using 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and if you want to make size 6 to 9 months same pattern change to crochet hook 4 millimeter okay so i hope this tutorial is easy for you to follow it is easy to understand if you have any question, leave your question at the comment section down below. I'll try my best to reply. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Like this video and share this video. And also don't forget to follow me on social media, Facebook and Instagram. For now, thank you so much for watching. God bless and bye.